Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a weekend reads video. Well, because I'm procrastinating studying for my final exam of third year. I just have like no interest in actually studying as immunology, and just nobody cares about diseases and whatnot in this household right now. So I decided that I was going to tell you guys about the books that I'm reading this weekend because procrastination. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book I'm reading is actually from an author who I talk to on Twitter occasionally and she is so sweet and her debut novel is called The Color Project. Her name is Sierra Abrams. And I've been highly anticipating this since I heard about it. It sounds amazing. But she contacted me and she was like, hey, I'm giving out eARCs so if you want one you can totally have one. So thank you so much to Sierra for thinking of me. The book follows a girl named Bernice Aurora Westcott and she doesn't like anybody knowing her real name. She goes by B. B meets a boy named Levi who runs a local charity called The Color Project and he's very insistent on figuring out what B's real name is. Unexpected news of an illness in her family kind of disrupts her entire summer and so B plunges full force into helping with The Color Project. B soon discovers that she is the backbone for her family and she needs the help of Levi to support her but she realizes that she's gonna have to give up her real name in order for him to stick around. In the synopsis it says that The Color Project is a story about the three greatest loves, family, romance, and friendship and so far I'm only about 80 pages in but I am loving it so far. Sierra's writing is hilarious and Levi is such an angel baby unicorn, like he reminds me of Levi from Fangirl, who is also a baby angel unicorn, and I'm hopefully going to finish it by this weekend. If I actually read and not, you know, procrastinate on that as well. The next book that I'm reading this weekend is Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. I've been going on this, like, Sarah Dessen kick lately. I have no idea why, because I always buy her books and then they just sit on my shelf and I never actually pick them up. But lately I've picked up three of them and I've liked two out of three. So this is the fourth one that I'm reading. It follows Ruby whose mother has left her and kind of abandoned her in the old yellow house that they lived in. When the adults in her life discover that she is motherless now, she gets sent to live with her older sister Kara as well as her husband Jamie. And she meets a boy named Nate who is her neighbor and it's basically the story of her learning to trust the people in her life again. About 198 pages in, so far I'm enjoying it. It's nothing like amazing but it is cute and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a good book. We'll see though. The best part of the book is the dog Roscoe. I'm sorry but he's like the cutest thing in the entire world. He's like this little pug kind of dog but he's not actually a pug, but apparently he snorts like a pug, and it, he just makes me so happy anytime he's in the scenes because he just pees on everything, and I find it hilarious. And also, I'm like obsessed with this cover. Like, can we just take in? It's so pretty. The final book that I need to finish by May 4th because I have to put up a review of it is Who She Was by Stormy Smith. This book follows a boy named Trevor Adler who used to love music. It was his entire life but now he hates it. In order to receive a scholarship to get away from his dysfunctional family, he has to continue with the music. To kick off their freshman year, Trevor's friend decides that they're going to go to a frat party. At this party, he ends up seeing his childhood best friend Charlotte, who he no longer talks to. He never understood why Charlie decided to step back from his life, so because he doesn't want to let her go again, he's very persistent in trying to figure out why she left in the first place. The only thing is, Charlie is broken. Under her perfectly executed exterior lies a broken heart where a few choice words caused her whole world to change dramatically. Charlie has never forgiven herself for what happened, so she hides behind her secrets in order to keep herself feeling safe. Trevor and Charlie start to become friends again, but when Trevor's secrets start to come to light, Charlie and Trevor realize that they're going to have to face their tragic past in order to have a future together. I haven't started this book yet, but as I said, I have to finish it by May 4th so I can have a review up for it. So I will leave the link for my review once it eventually goes up on May 4th if you guys want to check it out and see my full thoughts on the book when I finish it. Alright guys, so that was my weekend reads for this weekend. I don't know how much of the books I'm actually going to finish. Hopefully I finish one of them at least. I mean like I probably should study for my exam, but like meh, I don't want to at this point. I have seven more days to study, so like maybe I'll just spend the weekend reading and then I'll actually study on Monday. We'll see. I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!